I haven't spoken to anyone today. So <laughs> if I feel a bit wooden, that's why. So the number one thing that I get asked that isn't about my personal life is about whether I will make more fashion videos. I've wanted to for ages and for some reason I just haven't done it. So today we're gonna ease ourselves in with a closet confidential video where you get a little tour of like some of the bits in my wardrobe that I think are like notable or interesting. This was originally a tag in 2010, so I'm gonna follow those 10 questions. And um, yeah, yeah, let's have a look at my wardrobe. I've got an ulcer forming right in here and I can feel it. So let's start with, where is my phone? Okay, question number one, what is the oldest item in your wardrobe? I had to think about this for quite a while. Um, so to start with, to clarify, I don't have that many clothes. Um, I try and be as sustainable as possible. Um, I follow two rules. I follow the 30 wear rule, which is if I don't think I'm gonna wear it 30 times, I won't buy it. And two, I try and buy secondhand as much as I can. Oh, and three, I try and support small businesses as much as possible when it comes to fashion, because they're normally more ethical. Also, I know the money's going back into a business. Um, and I'm supporting, usually, uh, women who are working, which is amazing. Anyway, um, yeah. So, small wardrobe, I'm working on it. Now I have more money, I'm able to be more flexible with it. Um, but obviously this is very much representative of a wardrobe that someone would have in university because I did just graduate last year. Anyway, back to question number one. The oldest item in my wardrobe currently, um, I'm, I'm a massive clearer outer. I give so much to charity about every three months or so. Um, but this coat has stayed and it is from Topshop. When I used to work in Topshop, um, I would get, um, I think it's a 25% discount um, at that time. I was 17 and my dad said, you need a winter coat. You need to go and buy yourself a winter coat. But I wasn't making much money. Um, and so I was really reluctant to, you know, I wanted to spend it on like hanging out with my friends and whatever and train tickets normally. Um, so begrudgingly, I was like, fine went with my sister to Topshop and found this coat reduced to like 50 pounds, I think. And then another one, which was kind of salt and pepper uh, colors, um, reduced to 40, I think. You might be able to see it's um, like a, what are these called? This is a very distinct style. It's kind of a cocoon coat, do I mean that? Um, and it has um, two buttons that do up right here. It's got quite an open, it's got long lapels. Is that what, how you say that? and it kind of is open uh, for the majority of the coat. It's quite short, um, it comes to kind of just below your bum, and I love it still. There's something about when I wear a really neutral outfit, which is pretty much all the time, um, it's nice to have a bit of colour, and it's a really interesting purple. It's not quite maroon, and it's not a red. It's just like, a, it's not burgundy quite, it's just like a, deep purple. Question two, what is the newest item in your wardrobe? There are two, I got them both at Sitsi, I was given them. The first one is this amazing Sweet Dreamer cap from my friend Will Joseph Cook. He has merch, uh, I, I don't know if you can still get this colour but you can get a couple more. Wow, I look so funny in this. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen me with it on. Um, but yeah, I saw him wearing it on his Instagram a couple of weeks ago and I was like, Will, Will can I have one? And so he came to Sitsi and brought me one. And the second item, which I was given at Sitsi by my friend Hannah, is our banging book club totes. Um, I don't know if this counts, but um, yeah, it's got our uh, design, our logo on the front, and then banging book club is written on the back. And uh, we're actually doing a live show. <laughs> Sneaky plug. Uh, we're actually doing a live show um, later in August, I think it's on the 24th, um, and it's an interview with Gina Dawson, who's an amazing author. We're reading her book uh, this month. So if you want to come down, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get tickets. What is the most expensive item in your wardrobe? This is really hard, again, because as I said, I'm still building a wardrobe, basically, and um, I'm, I'm getting way more into kind of mid-range price pieces, so uh, things from And Other Stories, things from, um, Slightly more, uh, maybe cause like uh, buying better shoes, things that are kind of a mid-range price between like 50 and 100 pounds. However, I'm, I'm not going over into designer stuff yet. I don't feel financially comfortable enough to quite yet. Like this is probably the most expensive thing that I own and have done for a long time as well. These are my Doc Martens. Um, they are real leather. They're slightly lower than the classic 
uh, design. I don't know if they have their, they, they will have their own name. But um, these are my second pair. I bought my first pair when I was 17 and I was given them um, by my dad as a gift for my 17th birthday. And by 21, I had destroyed them. So I saved up and I bought these. And unfortunately, these still haven't broken in. I've worn them and worn them and they will not break in and they tear up my feet and I don't know why. Really frustrating, um, but I do love them. And they're probably about 110 pounds. Uh, making them the most expensive thing in my wardrobe. There's certain clothes that I really want to own, like I really want an All Saints jacket at some point, I really want a tailored suit, um, but these are like long off purchases. These aren't things that it's like, ooh, a brand deal, I'll go and buy that now. What is the cheapest item in your wardrobe that you use the most frequently? Hmm, so this was, this was hard because, again, I said like kind of mid price point is where I go, like I try not to buy super, super cheap stuff, um, I haven't shopped in Primark in about two years. However, I was thinking about t-shirts um, because I wear t-shirts all the time and um, especially t-shirts from Brandy Melville, which are a really, really decent price point. So this was about 14 pounds. It's just a stripy tee. I don't know if this is gonna come up well on my camera. Um, and I wear this probably every week. <laughs> um, I love the pattern, it's so easy to just throw on with jeans. So most wear for a cheapest item is probably any t-shirt from Brandy Melville that's in my wardrobe. What is the biggest bargain in your wardrobe? I have two, uh, both the charity shop finds. First one is this real Levi's denim jacket that I found for five pounds, <laughs> no 10 pounds, 10 pounds in a charity shop in Holloway. I used to live around there when I was a student and I went in and I found this and me and my friend were like aghast. <laughs> and I was like, I've got to get it. It doesn't matter if it doesn't fit, I can resell it. And I've currently got two pins by Polly. Um, she's side designs, she's an amazing designer. These amazing pins by Polly. Anyway, yeah, so this is the one denim jacket that I own and I wear it a fair bit. It's had a lot of use over the years and for 10 pounds, you just can't fault it. And the second one, also found in a charity shop, I don't think it was in Holloway though, I think this was at home. Um, I think I found this, this would have been around the time I bought um, that coat as well actually, and it's this leather bag from, well I have no idea, you know, but it's got a little thing in it, it says 100% real leather, and it's got this little mirror. I use it all the time, it's super classy in terms of, it just is so plain and simple. A bunch of pockets, it's nothing special, do you know what I mean, it's nothing, that's gonna make you go, oh my God. But if you're just wearing jeans and a t-shirt, which is basically my uniform, this is just, it just looks really nice with any outfit and any like nice coat. I'm trying to caffeinate myself. What is the biggest waste of money in your wardrobe? Now these, these are a pair of shoes and they still piss me off to this day. They are these shoes. Um, they are from Office. I've had some amazing pairs of shoes from Office. Um, I've got some slide-ons, what are they called? Like. What, what are they called? Those slide-in shoes that are like half a shoe. Um, I bought some of those for some kind of an event. Oh, for the Brits. Name drop. Um, <laughs> I bought these shoes for the Brits and I wear them all the time now. They're really nice. Um, and I was hoping for my graduation to get some fancy shoes. So I picked up these um, loafers and they tore my feet up the day of my graduation. I was limping home. And I really love the way they look. Like, I just think they're really classic and Again, I think basically in terms of jeans and t-shirts, I think these really like jazz up jeans and t-shirts into something really nice. But no matter how many times I tried to wear them, I cannot soften them. They are so stiff, they are so painful, and they just sit longingly looking at me in my wardrobe, just like, Lucy, put me on one more time. I promise I won't do it. And there's no kind of sock you can wear that will stop this, or compede that you can stick on your heel that will stop them from hurting. They are just, Devil shoes. I was also gonna mention for cheapest item that I wear all the time, scrunchies. Um, these are what, four or five pounds? And anytime I want to like jazz up an outfit, oh my God, one of these doesn't even have the tag off it. So this is my newest one. Um, this kind of like summery green color. No, this one's Topshop, then these three are brandy, I think. But like, for example, I wear all black and white and neutrals all the time. Pop this on, jazzy. Pop this silver one on. Jazzy. What are your three favorite items right now? Now I've gone for, um, I've done it the same way that Megan Ellaby did, just the three items I wear all the time. Um, and so the first one are, well, first one is my pair of black Jamie jeans from Topshop. I wear these 
all the time. I've repurchased and repurchased since I was, I said, like 17, 16. Um, they're some of the only jeans in at an affordable price point that fit me because um, I have a very small waist and very big hips um, and a big bum. And so lots of jeans just don't work. But um, these guys are lovely and I've just bought a new pair. They fit great. I love them. One of the hangovers of working in retail, and if you've worked in retail, you'll know this, um, especially like clothing retail, is that you learn exactly what in that store fits you and what doesn't. <laughs> and Topshop, unfortunately, do not make many clothes that fit me, but stretchy jeans, yeah, they do stretch your jeans very well. The second item is something you will see me in all the damn time, and it is this jumper, again from Brandy Melville, and I adore it. Um, it's just the most versatile thing. It's got a high neckline, so I can wear it with most t-shirts, my favorite item. Um, and then it's got these like, it's just kind of like a mottled, neutral, I don't even know, cream gray, cream beige, I don't know. And then I fold the sleeves up like this and it just is so easy to wear. And already I can see some, some wear and tear forming on the neckline here. But yeah, I'm absolutely in love with it. I wear it all the time. One of the best purchases I made from Brandy Melville. Okay, and thirdly, thirdly, let us talk about my Kankin. I have an all black Kankin. Um, there's the logo there, but you probably won't be able to focus on it. It's quite big, it can fit my laptop in it, it can fit notepads in it. I take it everywhere. I'm not a massive bag person. Um, I have maybe three or four. Um, and this is just the everyday backpack. Something like a bag that you're gonna use every day, I think it's so worth investing in. This was about 65 pounds or 70 pounds. Um, but it's so, so resilient. I've just realized I'm wearing my badge from last night. Um, oh, I went to see Kate Nash. I can't get it off, I'm really sorry. What is the most colorful item in your wardrobe? I literally just bought this like a week ago um, and it is this dress from Zara, um, which many of you may have seen because I wore it to Sitsi. And um, it's got this nice little tie here, which you can, I'll currently do a little bow with. Um, so you can kind of see. And then it's got these lovely flowers on it. It's a navy blue velvety suede feeling thing. And it's got these massive sleeves, like bell sleeves with um, uh, embroidery all down them. It's not too long. It's, it cuts above the knees, um, but it's not um, ridiculously short. I don't have much color in my wardrobe. I really do love big prints, um, but again, I'm easing into it. Like I wear pretty much solidly neutrals and then a couple of printed items. Um, so this, with all the colour on it, was quite adventurous for me. What is your favourite piece that you have received as a gift? This is hard, because I do not get gifted clothes because I'm a hard person to buy for. Um, and I've never been gifted, I don't think I've ever been gifted a bag or a wallet or anything like that. Um, so I took this a bit differently and went with gifted in terms of a company or a brand sending it to you for free. Um, which doesn't, again, doesn't happen to me that often. However, Recently, um, I've discovered these guys called Good Girl Gang, and they're, I think there's three women um, somewhere in England um, who are doing these amazing prints um, on bags and t-shirts that have really fun feminist messages. Um, and recently they sent me these two products. In fact, I'll show you, I'll show you the, the ones that are like, um, so first of all, they sent me this tote with Not Your Babe written on it, which I really love. Most recently, um, they've sent me this boys lie tote, which is just so cool. I love the way they've done this. And it looks so handmade without looking handmade. And I love this t-shirt so much. I wore it yesterday to my gig and I got a bunch of compliments. Um, but yeah, how cool is this? Obviously, hashtag not all boys, but mm. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go buy good girl gang stuff. They are amazing and I would highly recommend them. Quality is really good as well and you're supporting a small business. Okay, and the final question is what is the most comfortable item in your wardrobe? This is such a boring note to end it on, um, but by far it's got to be these Nike tracksuit bottoms. I bought them a couple of months ago because as you know, I work at home, um, I'm freelance and so I spend a lot of time working in comfortable clothes and jeans just don't really cut it and so these were a great purchase. These are my babies. I'm gonna cheat and show you one more item in there, but you have to excuse how dirty these are because these are actually disgusting. They're going in the washing machine after this. They are these NMDs by Adidas. Um, I don't know the exact style of them, but they're all white, or they were at one point, 
Um, <laughs> I have to wash them so often. I trash my shoes. This is the thing as well, like 30 wears, like as a 30 wear rule person, I don't buy shoes that often, but when I do, I wear them and I wear them and I wear them. And so I spend a lot of time cleaning shoes. Um, but yeah, these are all white apart from these little spotted things here, which I'm not, I don't love, but I do really like this um, design up here. This like, uh, the writing up here, I think it's Japanese writing. I bought them a couple of months ago and I really, really love them. They are the comfiest shoes I've ever owned. I bore them to Lovebox because I thought, you know, ooh, I want that really cool, but duh, wearing them to a festival, what do you think is gonna happen to them? Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I really enjoyed filming it. I really love talking about fashion and about clothes. There's a little introduction to the wardrobe that I have and I'm currently building. I'm nowhere near at the point of being like pleased with my wardrobe, feeling like I have everything that I should have. Do you know what I mean? I don't think I have all the basics yet. I don't think I have the basic structure to it, but right now, this is where I'm at and I thought it'd be nice to show you. I'll link as much as I can in the description bar um, and yeah, I will see you in my next video.